Hi guys! Welcome back. My name is Stacy, and I'm a full-time reseller on this channel. I put out reselling content to help you succeed at your reselling business. And today we are going to be looking at my sales from November 29th through December 5th. It is so snowy in Pittsburgh. We haven't had this kind of snow since December 1st. I think that was the first one that we had that actually stuck to the ground. And it looks like we're gonna get a few inches because it's uh, it's really coming down out there. It's like those thick snowflakes, you know, they, like they look really pretty when they fall, but it accumulates a lot of snow pretty fast. And also I got these cool Christmas socks. Uh, they were gifted to me. I got a package in the mail today, so I'm like, okay, I got these cool Christmas socks. I might as well put on a fun Christmas sweater to go along with it. I got this from the bins and I was planning on selling it this year, but you know what? It never made it out of my basement, so I never put it up for sale. So instead I'm gonna wear it, even though it's a little too big for me, that's fine. It's an oversized chunky Christmas sweater. All right, let's get into my sales. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently for you guys this time because I, did not have many sales over this week. I did not list much going up to Thanksgiving and then a little bit after Thanksgiving too. So I'm not surprised at all that my sales were low this week. Instead of telling you guys just my highest and my lowest sales, I'm gonna tell you about all the sales that I had this week because there's not that many, so might as well. Starting on November 29th, the first sale was a Free People Leopard Denim Shorts in a size 30, new with tags. They sold on eBay for $37, and after eBay fees and shipping, I made $26.92. They took 11 days to sell. These were part of my Nordstrom Rack haul. If you didn't see that video where I compared Nordstrom Rack and TJ Maxx, I will link it, and you should go check it out after you're done with this video, because it's a lot of fun. So I paid $8.99 for these shorts, and they sold pretty fast, so I'm very happy with that. Sale there they went for just as much as I thought that they would go for which is awesome. The next sale was a soda black suede short ankle booty in a size six and a half. It sold on eBay for $25 and after eBay fees and shipping I made $13.72. It took 30 days to sell. I only paid a dollar for these at Goodwill Dollar Day. Soda is by no means a big name brand or anything. It's probably sold at a department store or a shoe department or something like that. But booties are selling right now. Now the sad thing about this sale is that the person ended up asking to return the item and I do not offer returns on eBay but whenever I receive a request for a return due to fit or whatever other issue I just go ahead and accept it just because it is easier and I prevent any issues going on with uh, rejecting an eBay return. So I will try to sell those again. My guess is that they will sell for the same price in just no time at all. The next thing to sell was a Clark's black leather strappy sandals in a size 8. They sold on Poshmark for $20 and after Poshmark fees I made $16. They took 29 days to sell. These were another dollar pickup at Dollar Day. And I like picking up Clark's shoes, especially if they're in good condition, just because they always seem to sell for a decent price. This was an offer that I accepted. I think I had them listed at like 25. So I got this $20 offer and I'm like, yep, sounds good to me. The next sale was a Levi's button down shirt, purple print in a size extra large. It sold on eBay for $11 and 86 cents. And after eBay fees and shipping, I made $6.60. It took 174 days to sell. This was a consignment item, so I made a bit of the profit and then the rest goes back to the person that gave me this item to consign. It did take quite a while to sell. I just don't think many people are looking for a Levi's casual button down shirt like this. The next sale was an Under Armour Hunting Realtree Aiton Pants in a size extra large, new with tags. They sold on eBay for $75, and after eBay fees and shipping, I made $55.61. They took 22 days to sell. I bought these at a Gabriel Brothers for $20, and I got a bunch of them because I saw the Under Armour and Realtree collaboration, and I thought that would just be perfect for all of the hunters out there come hunting season. So I went ahead and picked up a bunch of those at the beginning of February this year, and I just listed them a month or 
yeah about a month ago this is the second pair that is sold i still have like eight available for sale i believe they're not all this specific style there's another style that i'm also selling i'm sure in time they will sell i do have them priced pretty high so it's gonna take a little while to get those sales but so far the flips have been good so that's great the next sale was a white house black market capri jeans blue black in a size two they sold on poshmark for 15 dollars and after Poshmark fees, I made $12. They took 119 days to sell. These were another dollar day pickup. I like picking up White House Black Market things if it is a dollar, just because I'm testing the waters with that brand, seeing what type of things sell for more and what sell for less. And some of the jeans have been selling pretty well. This pair didn't go for that much, but whenever you're only paying a dollar for something, $11 profit is still pretty good. The next sale was a Celebrity Pink Black Mid-Rise Skinny Jeans in a size one. They sold on eBay for $23.95 and after eBay fees and shipping, I made $15.53. They took 33 days to sell. I'm actually shocked that those sold for as much as they did. I think Celebrity Pink is a Junior's brand, and usually Junior's brands tend to not sell for very much money at all. I only paid a dollar for these. I picked them up because black jeggings are just a popular style to sell. I can almost sell any brand if it's a plain black jegging. If it's in good condition and it only costs a dollar, I just go ahead and pick it up because my chances of being able to sell it for a decent profit are pretty good. But I am very surprised at how much this went for, especially since they are size one. The next sale was a Hollister high rise jean leggings in a size three. They sold on eBay for $20 and after eBay fees and shipping, I made $13.07. They took 22 days to sell. Once again, another dollar day pickup. And it's funny because all these jeans, the White House Black Market, the Celebrity Pink, and the Hollister, they all kind of look similar and they all sold around the same time. Same deal with the Celebrity Pink. It was only a dollar. I thought the style would do well. I picked it up. So there was that. The next sale was a cut loose blue crew neck pocket front long sleeve sweater in a size small, sold on Poshmark for $22, and after Poshmark fees, I made $17.60. It took 154 days to sell. This was another dollar day pickup, and I picked it up mostly because the material was so nice. Like, it was thick, and it seemed like it would be warm and comfortable, and it had these cool pockets on the front. So I figured even if it didn't sell well, I might just want to keep this for myself. Turns out that this is a Lagan Look brand, which there is certain brands that have this style that people seek out. This sweater by no means got a lot of attention. It pretty much got no attention until someone came along and wanted to buy it. And they sent me a really low offer, like less than half off the price I was asking for. So I just countered with my lowest price and I let them know that I countered with my lowest price and they went ahead and purchased it for that price. Even if you get a low ball, don't decline it. Don't get mad or frustrated. Counter with your lowest price and then go into their bundle and let them know, hey, thank you so much for your offer. Or if it was a counter offer, thank you so much for your counter offer. And just let them know that you've countered with your lowest price. I have made a decent amount of sales doing that. Don't turn away low balls. They are potential customers. The next thing to sell was a London Fog black lace up fur trim boots in a size eight. They sold on Poshmark for $36, and after Poshmark fees and a shipping discount of $2.12, I made $26.68. They took 29 days to sell. Again, another dollar day pickup. The brand didn't really matter to me that much in this case. I was more looking at the style of the boots and thinking that they would do well for winter, and they did. If I'm only gonna be paying a dollar for something and it has the style going for it, I will usually pick it up. The next thing to sell was a New York and Company white Swiss dot dress in a size eight. It sold on Poshmark for $18 and after Poshmark fees and a shipping discount of $2.12, I made $12.28. It took 41 days to sell. I was so excited to make this sale because it was the first dress to sell as part of December. So for the whole month of December, I am donating 25% of any profits from dress sales and kids clothes to December, which is helping 
end human trafficking around the world. If you want to help this cause, I have in the description a link to our December fundraiser, Thrifters Against Trafficking, and if you want to indirectly help, you can go over to either my website or any of the sites that I sell on, which are also linked in the description, and purchase a dress or some kids clothes from my closet and 25% of those profits will be donated. The next thing to sell was a Mason Jewels black white knit open waterfall front sweater in a size small. It sold on eBay for $26 and after eBay fees and shipping, I made $17.20. It took 16 days to sell. Once again, this was a dollar day pickup and I actually thought this was a no name brand. So I was super shocked to see it sell for $26. I was very surprised at how much attention this got. I don't know if it was just the style that was bringing in all this attention or if this is some sort of brand people are seeking out. Let me know in the comments if you know anything about Mason Jewels because I don't, but this sweater sold really well for me. The next thing to sell was a loft light khaki beige jewelry straight pants in a size too petite sold on eBay for $18 and after eBay fees and shipping, I made $11.07. It took 135 days to sell. This is whenever I went on my dress pants buying spree. <laughs> Any dress pants I saw for a dollar that were by Loft or Banana Republic or Express, Ann Taylor, anything along those lines. It had some sort of style name attached to the pants and it was only a dollar, I picked it up. <laughs> Some of them sold really well and some of them did not sell quite as well. This is one of those that did not sell quite as well, but still fine, perfectly fine. And the last clothing sale after this, I have some hard goods that might interest you, was a Cupio red ruffled long sleeve cardigan sweater in a size medium. It sold on Poshmark for $38 and after Poshmark fees, I made $30.40. It took 51 days to sell really really good sale there i was super pumped about that one this sweater was so pretty i don't know anything about cupio either but since this sweater had like ruffles going on and the waterfall open front cardigan really nice color just it was just so pretty i ha i priced it up as high as i thought it was worth i'm like what would i consider paying for this and that's what I priced it at. <laughs> I think I priced it at 45 and someone sent me this $38 offer and I went ahead and I snatched that up. Now I don't sell a lot of hard goods but I have some hard goods sales here and they are Christmas related. Cool, keeping with the theme. <laughs> I purchased three years ago on clearance at Big Lots for 90% off projection Christmas lights. Like the ones that go and project lights all over your house. I purchased about 35 of them. I don't know, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. And then I kept them in my basement for three years. But I did list them for Christmas 2020 and they sold, go figure. I just wanted to get rid of them at this point. So I did price them fairly low. They cost a lot to ship because they were over a pound. So everyone that sold by themselves that I had to ship cost $7.91 to ship. And then if people purchased them together in lots of two or three, then I made some more money, which was cool. So let's see, I sold a kaleidoscope projection light for $13. And after fees and shipping, I made $3.21. And my cost of goods there was $1.20. So after cost of goods, I made $2. And then I sold five light show star spinner moist box, which means the box had just warped a little bit from being in my basement for so long. It must have been near a uh, water source or something because some of these boxes got a little bit damaged. So I did price them a little bit lower than the boxes that weren't damaged. Sold five of those for $65.75. And after fees and shipping, I made $24.74. I paid $7.50 for those five light. I also sold two light show star spinner red green projection lights for $26.90. After fees and shipping, I made $14.96. And lastly, two light show projection snow lights for $29.90. After fees and shipping, I made $14.98. So at the end of the day, on those 10 projection lights, I made about $45 after you factor in fees 
shipping and my cost of goods. Not too shabby. It wasn't hard to list them because I literally just would take a picture on my desk over there and then bump up the quantity for however many of that particular style I had available. And then as they sold, I just grabbed a box or the padded flat rate envelope and put it in. And all the ones that I listed for sale have sold at this point. So the week after this one, I also sold a bunch of projector lights which is cool. Just really happy to have them out of my house because I've been moving them around in my basement forever and ever. <laughs> and I don't know why I have such a hard time listing things. If you list things, you sell them. Wow, what a concept. My total sales for this week were $541. And after eBay fees, Poshmark fees, Mercari fees, shipping, and my cost of goods, I made $282. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like down below. It really helps me show up to more people on YouTube. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I put out new reselling content every single week. I hope you guys are getting ready for Christmas and getting festive and have your Christmas music on and have your hot cocoa and broke out your ugly Christmas sweaters or not so ugly Christmas sweaters and are just having a lot of fun with family around this time of year. Have a great rest of your week, everybody. Bye.